Hi grade 12, so we're going to start off with alkanes, our first homologous series. Remember, a homologous series is like a group of organic compounds, and we're going to be starting with alkanes, they're the simplest ones, and they are hydrocarbons, so remember, what is a hydrocarbon? It's an organic compound that only contains hydrogen, so hydro, H for hydrogen, hydro, and carbon, C. Okay, so they're hydrocarbons with single bonds. That is very important. Alkanes have single bonds between the carbon atoms. And because they have single bonds, we say that they are saturated. So ignore the stuff going on on the board already. I'm going to write here is alkanes have single bonds. Single bonds. Okay, so one line, one like, you know, single bonds, one line, which means that they are saturated. Don't worry too much about what saturated means. We will get to that. But remember, single bonds, saturated. S, S. Single bonds, saturated. S, S. They have single bonds, so they are saturated. And here's the general formula for alkanes, which we went through in the last lesson. And here you can see pictures of different alkanes. So you can see the single bonds. You don't see anything else but single bonds in these pictures. These are different members of the alkanes. So this one over here is called methane. We will get to why later. Methane. This one is called propane. And this one is called pentane. Do you guys hear how they all end in ane? Like an alkane ends in ane. So I'll go through those again. This is methane. This is propane. And this is pentane. Okay? Let's see. Okay. Let's start on my whiteboard. So the general formula for an alkane is Cn H2n plus 2. You need to know that. They can ask you that. They can ask it in multiple choice. They can ask it in a longer question. Cn H2n plus 2. General formula. Then the functional group. So remember from last lesson, the functional group is how do we recognize this compound? Remember the definition for functional group is it's a bond or an atom, or a group of atoms that determine the physical and chemical properties of a group of organic compounds. So it's a bond, or an atom, or a group of atoms. In this case, here's a functional group up here as well. It is a group of atoms with a single bond. So the way that that is, is how I need you to remember to write it. The carbon needs to have four bonds. You need to show those bond lines. And you need to show me that it's a single bond between the carbons. So this is the structural formula of the functional group. It's showing the structural formula of the functional group. Now let me show you an example of an alkane using the general formula. Let's pretend I want to do an alkane that has, let's say, five carbons. Okay. So I want to do a... This is going to take a while, I'm sorry. I want to do, no, okay, I want to do an alkane that has five carbons, so let's write here, five carbons, so remember, if I'm using the general formula, my number of carbons is N, so N is going to be five, so it's going to be C, five, H, two times five is ten, plus two is twelve. So that is the molecular formula for a compound, for a alkane, that has five carbons. Molecular formula. If I ask you for the structural formula of an alkane that has five carbons, you don't need to do this first. You can just go and draw it out. We know alkanes have single bonds. So one, two, three, four, five. Please note... It's an alkane, so I've only done single bonds between the carbons. We also know that alkanes have hydrogens, and we know that hydrogens are joined by single bonds. Okay, so every carbon must have four bonds. Keep that in mind whenever you are drawing your compounds. So we're going to fill in our H's here, like that. This takes a while, but you cannot leave the H's out. So you will lose marks. So let me do that quickly. So I've drawn in my H's, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons, because I asked you to draw me an alkane with 5 carbons, 
Let's see how many hydrogens I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's exactly what my molecular formula says. So I know I drew it correctly. And this is the structural formula. Structural formula. If I ask you for the condensed structural formula of this, let's draw an arrow, it is CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. Remember, CH3, because the first carbon has three hydrogens, then it's CH2, because the second carbon has two hydrogens, then it's CH2 because the third carbon is two hydrogens, and so on. Look, these correspond. And this is the condensed structural formula. Okay. And the IUPAC name of this thing. Okay, pause the screen if you need to take that down. I'm going to erase. The IUPAC name of this thing. So now you're saying, ma'am, what the heck are you saying? What is IUP? What it? What like? What are you? What are you saying? IUPAC is just a little. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's how we name organic compounds. Okay. It's just. It's an acronym. You don't need to worry about what it stands for. It's basically so that scientists across the world can understand what compound you are talking about. It's like an international standard for naming organic compounds. So if they ask you for the IUPAC name of this compound, you will tell me that it is pentane. And I wonder if anyone can figure out why pentane. Remember I said it's an alkane, so it's going to end in ane. You will see that all the alkanes end in a n e. A n e. But why pent? Where does pent come from? Pent. What does pent mean? What is a pentagon? Let's see. Do they have a pentagon here? No, they don't. What is a pentagon? How many sides does a pentagon have? A pentagon has five sides. Okay, five sides. So pentane will have five carbons. Okay, so let's go through a few more of those. So we know pentane is five. Here are the rest. Mess means one. So if I'm talking about an organic compound that has one carbon, an alkane that has one carbon, I'm talking about methane, 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 whatever. And this methane looks like this. Carbon, one carbon, because methane means one. One, two, three, four, with its H's. Just like that. S, or ethane, means two. So, ethane will be an alkane with two carbons. One, two and with its hydrogens attached. So remember, you need to fill in these little guys, which is annoying. So that's ethane, because S means two. Prop, so this will be propane, means three carbons. But means butane, or four carbons. See how they all end in ane. Methane, ethane, propane, butane. Then we've got pentane, which is what we drew in the previous example. Hexane, heptane, like a heptagon. Octane, like an octopus. Now I'm going to spell octopus. Octane. And then if you're interested, nine is nonane. They don't really ask nine. I think they say it goes up to eight in your exams. And ten is decane. Okay, so let's go through that again. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, and octane. 
Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to pause the screen. I want you to draw the structural formula of ethane and the molecular formula. Ethane, you need to know that E S. S how many carbons does that mean? You need to you may need to go back if you forgot. Ethane is two carbons. So I'll do the first one with you. Ethane is two carbons. Okay, so I'm going to write here two carbons. So the structural formula will look like this. Carbon, carbon, your bonds for your H's. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got C to H6. So you can look at your picture that you drew to count the H's. Or you can use your general formula. Remember, it was CN H two N plus two. So CN, if N is two, then we go two times two, which is four plus two, gives me six. So either way, I'm getting that six over there. Whether you draw it and count it, or you use your general formula. So just pause and try heptane and butane. Okay. So you should have gotten that heptane has seven carbons. Heptane, if you draw it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Each carbon needs to have four bonds, so you need to add the H's accordingly. So this carbon has 1, 2, 3, 4. This carbon has 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If you do your molecular formula, you'll get C7H16. Okay? So you can do that by looking at your picture and counting, or you can use your general formula. Using the general formula might be safer because you might make a mistake on your picture. But do both just to see that you know what's going on. Then butane is 4 carbons. And if you draw it out, you'll see that there's 10 hydrogens. Okay. We will go into straight versus branched alkanes tomorrow. But let me just show you quickly. A straight chain alkane looks like this. Let's just quickly do... What is the name of this one? How many carbons? 1 two, three. So what's the name? Propane. That's the IUPAC name. Okay? The IUPAC name. IUPAC name is propane. And the molecular formula is C3H8. Correct? Three, six, seven, eight. Yes. This one is also a straight. Oh, these are all, these are both straights, by the way. Straight alkanes. This one, one, two, three, four, five. So that's C five H. What's that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. What is the IUPAC name of this guy? Five is pentane. Okay. The molecular formula, IUPAC name. Those are straight chain alkanes. You see it's straight. It's not doing anything weird, it's just dead straight. Then if you look here, this one and this one, those are branched alkanes. So let me just show you the difference quickly before I end this lesson. If you look at a straight chain alkane, the carbons are in a dead straight line like that. So this is straight chain. Okay. straight chain alkane as opposed to these guys over here let's do it in purple look at the carbons there's the main carbon chain and then it has a branch that comes off the side a carbon branch okay so this is branched so is this one if you think this is the main chain so those three over there Oops, oops, my thing got stuck. Oh no, oh no, it's doing a thing. Okay, so if that's the main chain over there in the middle, three of them, then it has a branch going to the top and a branch going to the bottom. Okay, that's all I need you guys to know for today. We'll do branch chain alkanes tomorrow. Have a good day, guys.